गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सीक्रेशन ऑफ सलाइवा एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली सलाइवा इज फॉर्मड इन द एसेना सेल्स ऑफ द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स एंड इज डिलीवर्ड इनटू द माउथ थ्रू डक्ट्स सो इन दिस picture you can say these are the acinar cells they release saliva and the saliva gets modified in the duct and then it is delivered in the mouth here is the mouth so this is the process okay so steps of salivary secretion it has two main steps primary secretion and secondary secretion primary secretion these acinar cells secrete isotonic saliva here this is the isotonic saliva which contains water sodium ions and chloride ions okay so this is the isotonic now here this is the secondary secretion that means as the isotonic saliva flows through the duct flows through this duct the sodium and chloride ions are removed from the saliva and they are absorbed in the blood and potassium ions as well as bicarbonate ions are secreted in the saliva okay now the isotonic primary secretion by the acinar cells is later modified into secondary hypotonic saliva this is called ductal modification so once the sodium and chloride ions are removed and potassium and bicarbonate ions are secreted in the saliva the isotonic saliva is now modified into hypotonic saliva and this happens in the duct hence it is called ductal modification okay let's talk about the regulation of saliva secretion taste flow autonomic nervous system salivary reflex we will talk about them one by one first is the taste the most effective stimulus for an increase in salivary secretion is a sour taste followed by a salty taste next is flow of saliva so when the flow of saliva is slow the ducts are able to modify the composition of the saliva by absorbing sodium and chloride ions however at high flows the saliva passes rapidly through the ducts with much less alteration of electrolytic concentration thus the electrolyte concentration of saliva at high rates of flow are more similar to the primary saliva concentration produced by the acinar cells autonomous nervous system parasympathetic nerves are responsible for secretion of watery saliva so parasympathetic nerves actually work when we are in the normal state or normal condition we are relaxed at that time they work and they are responsible for secretion of watery saliva in situations of fear anger stress or vigorous exercise where sympathetic nerves are stimulated the salivary glands produce thicker saliva so basically sympathetic nerves uh, when they work when we are in the danger or where when we are in the stressed condition at that time the sympathetic nerves work and at that time the salivary glands produce thicker saliva salivary reflex unconditioned reflex and conditioned reflex unconditioned reflex it is an inborn reflex which induces secretion of saliva when any substance is placed in oral cavity suppose uh, we are putting a chocolate in our mouth our salivary gland will release saliva this is the unconditioned reflex now what is the conditioned reflex so it is a reflex occurred by experience even a thought of our favorite food such as ice cream initiates salivary secretion so this is all about today's lecture 
I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.